In this video, we're going to talk about how to calculate the monthly payment of a student loan. And we're going to do this using the amortization formula. So let's focus on this problem. A student takes a $50,000 loan to pay for four years of college. The loan must be repaid within 10 years upon graduation at a fixed annual interest rate of 5%. Calculate the monthly payment. So the formula that we're going to use to calculate the monthly payment, MP, is this formula. It's going to be P, which represents the principal, times R. R is the annual interest rate as a decimal divided by N. N is the number of payments that will be made in a year. And this is all divided by one minus one plus r over n raised to the negative nt. So that's the amortization formula that will help you to calculate the monthly payment for any type of loan. So the principal is the loan amount, which is 50,000. R is 5%. But 5% as a decimal is 0 0.05. So you take 5% and divide it by 100. So R is 0 0.05. N, the number of payments that's made in a year, since we're trying to calculate the monthly payment and there's 12 months in a year, N is 12. Now let's plug in everything else. So we have R again, that's 0 0.05, N is 12, raised to the negative N, so that's negative 12. T is in years. So we're dealing with a loan that has to be repaid in 10 years. So T is going to be 10. So once we plug this entire thing in, it's going to give us the answer that we're looking for. So let's do this one step at a time. Let's begin by plugging in the top numbers. 50,000 times 0 0.05 divided by 12. That's 208.3 repeating. And then we're going to divide that by 1 minus Let's plug in this in. So 1 plus 0 0.05 divided by 12. That's 1.00416 repeating. Negative 12 times 10, that's negative 120. So you could plug in the rest and get the final answer. So 208.3 repeating, or you could write that as 208.3333333 divided by. Now make sure you use parentheses and an extra set of parentheses to get this right. So if we divide that by parentheses 1 minus parentheses 1 1.00416 and then since it's repeating you need to add a few more sixes after that. Close parentheses, raise it to the negative 120 and don't forget to close the parentheses an additional time. The final answer that you should get is $530.33. So that's going to be the monthly payment that this particular student will have to pay right after graduation for 10 years. So that's the answer for part A. Now let's move on to part B. What is the total cost of the loan? So what is the total price that the student will have to pay over the course of 10 years? To get that answer, we need to take the monthly payment of $530.33, multiply it by 12 months in a year, and then multiply that by 30 years. I mean, not 30 years, but 10 years. That's the term of the loan. 
So it's 530.33 times 12 times 10. And that's going to be $63,639.60. So that is the total cost of the loan. That's the answer for Part B. Now, what is the total interest that should be paid over the life of the loan? It's going to be the difference between the total amount that was repaid minus the original loan value, which is 50000 So that's going to be $13,639.60. So that's the amount in pure interest that the student will pay for this loan. Now let's look at number two. A student took a 30-year term $200,000 loan at a fixed annual interest rate of 6%. What is the monthly payment? So let's use the same formula. The monthly payment is going to be the principal times the annual interest rate divided by N. And then that is going to be divided by 1 minus 1 and then plus R over N raised to the negative NT. So in this example, the principal is the balance of the loan, which is 200000 The annual interest rate this time, it's a little bit higher, it's 6%. So 6 divided by 100, that's 0 0.06. N, since we're calculating the monthly payment, N is going to be 12. That's not going to change in this example. In fact, since most loans are repaid on a monthly basis, and it's going to be 12 for this formula. It usually doesn't change. Now, T is going to be different in this example. We're not dealing with a 10-year loan. This loan has to be repaid in 30 years. Now, because it's being repaid over a longer time, Interest has a lot of time to build, so the cost of the loan, the total amount in interest that will be paid, it's going to be significantly higher, even though the loan balance is higher. But when you put more time into it, that's going to greatly increase the total interest paid. In addition, you know, since in addition to a higher interest rate as well, that will contribute it, but time is a big factor. So T is going to be 30 in this case. Two hundred thousand times point zero six divided by twelve. That's a thousand. One plus point zero six divided by twelve. That's one point zero zero five negative 12 times 30, that's negative 360. So 1,000 divided by parentheses, 1 minus parentheses, 1.005, close parentheses, raised to negative 360, and then close it again. This will give you a monthly payment of $1,199.10. Now let's move on to part B. So what is the total amount that must be paid back over the life of the loan? So it's very similar to the last question. We're going to take the monthly payment, multiply it by 12 months per year, and this student is going to be paying this for 30 years. So 1199.10 times 12 times 30. This is going to be $431,676.
So that's how much they're going to pay in the course of 30 years. Now let's calculate the total interest paid. So that's the difference between, let's call this IT. The total interest paid will be the total amount that the student will pay over 30 years minus the principal or the original balance of the loan that they took out. So this will give us a difference of $231,676. So in this case, the interest is greater than the principal that the student took out in the loan. And that's the effect of time. Even though the interest rate was slightly higher, the fact that the loan was paid over a longer time allows interest to build up, which means they will pay more in interest over the course of the loan. But now you know how to calculate the monthly payment and the total interest that will be paid if you're considering taking out a loan. So this is the amortization formula. There's different versions of it, but I like to use this form. 